Hello everyone, and welcome to another Company Heroes 2 replay cast. My name is ATR, and today we're going to have a 1v1 on Colotni Ferma. Our heroes today are going to be Kam Frenchy, playing for the Soviets. And his opponent is going to be none other than Sage of the Six, playing for the Germans. Let's talk about a little players a little bit. Sage of the Six, you've probably seen him around. He is currently, at the time of casting this, ranked... 59th for his German play, so top 100 player right here, and his Soviet play is also uh, 100, it's uh, 76 at the time of casting this, so, you know, pretty good player too. Cam uh facing him this time around, is currently ranked 186 for his Soviet, so not top 100, top 200 there, his German play, he doesn't apparently play a lot of German. So he's mostly a Soviet player, so he actually has a pretty tough fight in his hands. An uphill battle all the way. Now we do see that Sage of the Six has selected his Doctrine to begin with, and that is going to be the Mechanized Assault Doctrine. And we see that obviously he has gotten himself some Assault Grenadiers. Uh, we have one Grenadier squad on the field going down south, capturing that point. We have... Pios in the center, just wiring off, heavy covered for Cam Frenchy. So it's a nice, uh, nice little trick there from Sage. And we have the Assault Grenadiers going up to the north. MG42 being the th third, I mean fourth unit uh, in total, third unit out. We do see that Sage of the Six built himself tier one. Obviously, that's why he does have one Grenadier squad. So yeah, very nice. It is what we've seen being done recently with that uh, doctrine. No longer is it just spamming Assault Grenadiers. You see. You know, Assault Grenadiers being added into the mix of units. So, northern side of the map on the munitions point, we see the first engagement. Assault Grenadiers closing the distance right on top of Conscripts. They are, however, not putting themselves in the heavy cover. Now they are, and the Conscripts have taken one loss. The Assault Grenadiers as well took one loss as they approached. Now they are right on top of that Conscript squad, so they should be able to do enough damage to force them off. One of them is actually on the other side. They will run to the other side of the cover and be able to shoot them on the flank. Doing quite a bit of damage. Down to three men on that Assault Grenadier squad, but now down to three men on the Conscripts. Forced to retreat, and small victory on the north for Sage of the Six. Center map, we also have another engagement. Pios engaging... No, actually, Com Grenadiers engaging right in between everything. I'm not entirely sure what Sage is trying to do here. MG42 opening up to help out. The Conscripts do get suppressed. The Grenadiers do end up having to retreat. Down to one man. A little bit too risky there. Might have actually lost that squad, but fortunately for Sage, the MG42 set up right in time and ended up suppressing all the squads in there, which ended up doing quite a bit of damage. Combat Engineers forced to retreat. The Conscripts now pinned down, so they will start taking additional damage after a couple seconds. I do not remember the exact timing on that, but yes, if you leave a squad pinned down, uh, when they initially get pinned down, they do have a modifier that reduces the amount of damage they receive, but it ends after a, after a while, so eventually they'll just start end, ending up taking extra damage and die very quickly. So usually, unless you know, you're going for a flank and you just need those couple extra seconds, usually you don't want to leave your squads getting pinned down by an MG-42 too long at least. So anyways, conscripts for Camp Frenchy moving down south, capturing territories. We do have a German squad down south, and that is just the Pios capturing the victory point and now cut off. Gradier squad moving into the center to the victory point in the south and are going to try to engage those conscripts. The conscripts uh, to the left are going to move back to engage. LMG getting equipped on those Grens. The Grens moving right next to the conscripts, now being able to open up with that LMG. They're going to do quite a bit of damage to that squad, although the LMG is just having to turn around to be able to do enough damage. There goes the first burst, forces the three-man squad to back off and retreat. Second squad takes two bursts to the face. Down goes two of the conscripts and more bursts continue to go off. Down to three men, also forced to retreat. So a very easy and lucky victory there for Sage of the Six. Up in the north, we see combat engineers engaging against the Grenadier squad, and they do have a flamethrower, giving them quite a boost in firepower. However, the Grenadiers are out in the open, which, if I'm not mistaken, does not give the flamethrower extra damage. Uh, again, I am not entirely 100% sure on that. Uh, from what I recall, at least in Vico, the way that it worked is that flamethrowers would do more damage to units in cover. So if you were in heavy cover, a flamethrower was an excellent way to get you out of there. So negative cover was actually better against flamethrowers. You stand in the open and the flamethrower would not do as much damage. But who knows if that's the same in Company Heroes 2. It is one of those details that I haven't actually <laughs> investigated, which I probably should. Anyways, down south we see some Pios moving around. They're going to go for the decap on this point. 
Grenadiers decapping and capping the fuel point, uh, which is connected, so nice. MG42 set up on the munitions point, also cut connected that point. So we currently have Sage of the Six having that southern fuel. The northern fuel did get disconnected by that combat engineer squad, although it's getting assaulted by a grand squad. Forced to retreat down to one man, but it will make it out alive. Tier one down for Camp Frenchy. He's getting himself a uh, scout car. And we have a combat engineer squad on the field with flamethrowers already. Second one also getting upgraded with flamethrowers. I'm going to jump into that car instantly. And going to be quite good for Camp Frenchy. Should be able to fight against those assault grenadiers and the MG42s. There are two MG42s on the field for Sage of the Six, as we can see. And that is, uh, that is nice. Let's see if I can adjust the coloring on this. It looks a little bit too pale, in my opinion. Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. A little bit of a blue outline there, but ah, who cares. Okay, so down south we see uh, conscripts pushing into the south, forcing away that Grenadier squad down to one man. The MG42 repacks and it's going to set up in a different angle. Probably, yeah, probably just there covering this entire approach. Very nice move there by Sage of the Six. Usually people don't vault over fences in their normal movement. They just queue up movements. So regardless of where the squads are down in the south, they're probably going to run into that MG42. Scout car on the field running into the Assault Grenadiers. The Assault Grenadiers getting burned alive by the Scout car, getting chased down and shot. Going to die. I do not think they're going to make it out. There is an MG42 in the way that's going to open up on the Scout car as it moves. But going to get one last burst off on the Assault Grenadier. It looks like no. It looks like the Assault Grenadier is going to make it out alive this time. The MG42 does pack up as well and is going to get burned alive as it moves. Down goes one of the members in the squad. Second member might go down. We have a Grenadier squad on the field getting reinforced, so a potential Faust could be tossed there by Sage of the Six. But Cam Frenchy just manages to harass, push back the squads, and is going to get out of the way. There is a Grenadier squad in the way, however. He's going up north, and the squad is moving down south. So that is a very lucky break there for Cam Frenchy. Looks like the Grenadier squad is not going to be able to catch that scout car for a Faust. Northern side of the field is vacated, so the scout car is just going to be used to camp. Combat engineers jump out and are going to repair if they can. Grenadiers pushing forward, going to get right on top of that scout car and throw a Faust. No, they stop. And the combat engineers are going to start opening up with their flamethrower. Down goes one of the Grenadiers instantly to the uh, combat engineers. And the scout car is there for support, providing that firepower from its gun. Down goes the Faust, however, and does manage to take out that scout car before they end up retreating. Down to one man, but a nice victory there for Sage of the Six. Down south, the Grenadier squad retreating once again in the face of two conscript squads defending their fuel. This point has not gotten recapped, and we have nothing else. Tier 2 going down for Camp Frenchy. Interesting choice, so not taking up. He's going Tier 1, Tier 2. So we might be seeing some type of doctrine that provides some columns. That might be uh, an option or solution for him, but we'll see. Grenadiers getting burned alive as they push into the north. They do have an LMG, but those <laughs> flamethrowers are... Well, that flamethrower on the combat engineers is just being brutal, doing incredible amounts of damage. Down to one man on that combat engineer, trying to retreat. Can he make it out alive in the face of that LMG? Looks like he will make it out, although there is a MG-42 set up in the way. MG-42, however, is... Well, it is actually aiming in the right direction. The combat engineer will run through its line of sight, but the MG-42 decides to focus on the approaching infantry, and the combat engineer makes it out. Very lucky there for Camp Frenchy. Saw Grenadiers and Pios moving into the cutoff point in the south. Managed to cap it, so that fuel point is not providing anything to Camp Frenchy. And yeah, a lot of a lot of SMGs in there. Another scout car getting produced for Camp Frenchy, as well as a penal battalion. Penal battalion, pretty good. I like that squad. Very expensive to produce, but they do have a lot of firepower. Up in the north, Grenadier running into a conscript squad, forced to retreat. It is six man against one. Even with that LMG, it is only one man, and he is not Rambo, so he is not going to be able to defeat the enemy by himself. Grenadier's pushing out into the base. No additional tech. So far for Sage of the Six, he did get himself a med bunker, so he will be able to heal up. But he is quite content for the meantime to just stay at Tier 1. Probably, though, I'm assuming he is going to be teching up to either Tier 3 or maybe all the way to Tier 4. I don't see why Tier 4, but he might be skipping Tier 2, and that's why he hasn't gotten it at this point. Conscript pushing forward into the map. We have Combat Engineers moving in with a flamethrower. Pio's trying to hold up the line with their SMGs in that house, but they're not going to get burned alive by that combat engineer squad. Down to one man. I don't think Sage of the Six will get them out. And nope, down to goes the Pio squad. So a small pickup there for Camp Frenchy. Down south, Assault Grenadiers getting assaulted by the Penal Battalions, and down goes the Assault Grenadiers squad. Those SVTs doing quite a bit of damage, and that is very nice. 
As long as Camp Frenchy can just uh, merge it with conscripts, it should be not as uh, manpower intensive. LMG grants in the center do manage to force away one of the conscript squads, another conscript squad, and the gr combat engineers are moving up. There is an MG42 in this house. It does set up to engage the combat engineers. The combat engineers manage to jump into the house, and the flamethrower is going to go off from house to house, doing quite a bit of damage to that MG42. Rifle nade going down in the house, down to one man in that house. Only the flamethrower left. Jumps out of the house. One man LMG on the field, gonna get burned alive by that scout car, and down it goes. So heavy loss there for Sage of the Six, you could say. Combat Engineer does even make it out alive, so unfortunately for him, he will not be able to get that victory. And the scout car does take a Faust at the end, at the last moment by that uh, Grenadier, but the MG42 in the church will also be taken out. Grenadiers pushing down through, through the north. The MG42 did manage to jump out of the house and ends up getting killed right outside of it. So that MG42 is up for the taken, so could potentially going down. Rifle nade going down, trying to nail that scout car, but the scout car manages to dodge that, and we do in fact have tier three up for Sage of the Six. And no, sorry, never mind. That is a Stuggy. Stuggy. Okay. A very nice choice. We'll have nothing to fear from those scout cars, and it does very decent damage against uh, infantry. There you go, one shot goes down, kills one of those penal battalions. And the LMG Grenadiers are forced to retreat. MG42 apparently gonna go get capped by Camp Frenchy. Manages to capture that. No, actually just sits right on top of that MG42. Goes for the cap, takes a shot down to two men on that conscript squad. Crushing the men on the MG42. The MG42 sets up, gonna try to retreat. The Stuggy is gonna take a shot, misses. Gonna continue to chase, and can he finish off that MG42? No, I think uh, Camp Frenchy will be able to get away with it and get that MG42 on his side. Yeah. LMG Grants up in the north, getting pushed on by the combat engineers again with flamethrowers. And we now have guard rifles on the field for Camp Frenchy. He got himself the guard mortar coordination tactics. So yeah, he can actually call in T-34-85s if, if he so desires. Obviously, he does not have nearly enough fuel to be able to do so. But there is only a Stuggy on the field that he has to deal with, so it's not that big of a problem. Stug does move down and takes out the scout car, so no more vehicles on the field for Camp Frenchy. But he is pushing forward with his guards. The guards right on top of that Stug. The Stug trying to go for the crush. Not being able to do so, taking some shots from the PTRS rifles. The PTRS rifles managing to penetrate, not doing a lot of damage, but it'll eventually add up. The Stug is now moving in reverse, right on top of all the conscripts. Conscripts will throw an 18 at it, gets the crit on the engine. Stuggy now down to three. Three? I mean, Stug now down to, um, to less than half health, and Sage is still trying to go for the crush. I do not agree with that at all considering that you have a damaged engine, so those guys can just simply walk out of the way. So the BTRS rifles are going to go off, and unfortunately for Sage, they will be able to kill off this Stuggy, and that is going to be it. Um, would have probably been better to focus fire on the guards, trying to see if you could nail them and get them off the field, and that might have kept the Stug alive, but unfortunately for Sage, that is now dead. He does have a uh, half track? No, what is that? Where is it? What is that and where is it? It's the, oh yeah, it's the the half track that you call in. The uh, the one with the Panzer Grenadier spot. So that is why he skipped tier two, essentially. I mean, not why exactly, but you know, a reason why he can try to afford to not have tier two is because he can get Panzer Grenadiers in the form of that call in. So yeah, he'll be able to still get tracks on that and it's pretty nice and it's a very harassing unit. He can use it quite effectively if managed properly. So anyways, up in the north, Camp Frenchy going for the decap on points. Victory point wise, Camp Frenchy is now down to 125 points. So Sage has managed to inflict massive amounts of damage in the victory points. He's sitting comfortably at 500, so doesn't really have much to worry about. Assault, uh, I mean, Panzer Grenadiers running through the base, getting 18 aided as they move out. They will not be able to get out of there. One of them dies in the explosion of the car, and three Panzer Grenadiers jump out of that half track. They will need to retreat, otherwise they're going to get themselves killed. And there goes their retreat. Will retreat through conscript squads and combat engineers, but there are three men in that squad, and I believe they are going to be just fine. LMG Grants fighting against the guards. The guards do have uh, DP light machine guns, but they are getting involved by the veterancy of these Grants. Grants are now veterancy three, which provides them um, 
armor and um, I forget what the weapon control under fire is, but they also gain accuracy from their vet too, so they are quite deadly. Down to two men, forced to retreat as well. A lot of conscripts pushing on them, down to one man, but it's a very healthy man with armor bonuses, so he'll take some damage, but he should be able to make it out alive. Combat Engineers for Camp Frenchy down south going for the decap, so he manages to stop the bleed at 110 points and will finally start the bleed on Sage of the Six, who is, well, at 498, 497, so he is in no rush, really, to speak of. MD42 getting burned alive. We do see a um, cluster artillery barrage, whatever you call it, right on top of where the infantry was, but the... Uh, the conscripts managed to dodge that. One of the men does not end up uh, clearing that. There was a conscript squad, however, waiting in the retreat pad of that MG42, so the MG42 is now lost. So I never actually got to see, but it looks like either Camp Frenchy lost. No, actually, he has it. Yes, comrade. No, never mind. That's the one he just picked up. So either he lost the other MG42 that he uh, picked up previously, or. I mean, and, and by lost, I mean like lost it to the battlefield, which I'm assuming. Yeah, this, this is probably, yeah, there it is. Okay, so yeah, he lost it in this house. It was there, but it got collapsed. Okay, uh, so he picked up another. So yeah, that's what I was wondering. I missed it, but we can see the bodies there, so we're fine. And we now see Sage of the Six rolling up with a tiger. So that is exactly what he was waiting for. So no tears or anything, just saving all the fuel and manpower to get that. Does not have a lot of uh, infantry on the field. He only has a Panzer Grenadier squad and two Grants. However, one of those Grants is Veteran C3, so it is a force to be reckoned with. We'll be able to maul squads by itself, at least for the meantime. Does have to contend with the Veteran C3 Combat Engineer <laughs> from Camp NG, but that's about it. Combat Engineer's Veteran C doesn't provide him any combat buffs, unfortunately, anymore. All it does is provide him, essentially, um, quicker repairs. And it also provides them the ability at Veteran C3 to not take additional damage while repairing in combat, which is something that normally happens. If you have your repair units and they're, they're repairing a tank, uh, if they take any damage, they take extra damage, so it's very easy to kill. So at Veteran C3, you know, you deny that. So the Tiger runs straight into a mine, getting itself disabled a little bit, takes some engine damage. It's not heavy engine damage, so it can still move out of the way. Camp Frenchy does have two AT guns on the field. Where is the second one? We have one back at base, unfortunately. Uh, oh, no, barely coming out onto the field. So it's going to take a while. We do have one on the field taking some shots at that Tiger. The Tiger did take quite a beating, down to about 60% health at most. We see Panzer Grenadiers pushing forward, getting some bundle nades off on that AT gun, down to two men, but do not manage to clear it out. And the Tiger continues to back off. We do have or need a Pyo squad on the field. Grand squad got annihilated at some point. Did not check when or where. Which is unfortunate. Looks like it might have been in the center, however. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Sage does have a massive Tiger on the field, but he doesn't really have a lot that he can do with it right now because he does not have infantry to support it. MU-42 getting produced just to be able to give some firepower or... You know, anti-infantry capabilities to the tiger to support it, but uh, but yeah, I mean, the tiger essentially right now is just a defensive tool, which is to stop uh, Camp Frenchy from rolling into his base. So you can see here that the uh, combat engineers are doing quite a bit of damage to these pyos. One of them goes up in flame and pretty much one burst. The Tiger taking some additional damage from the AT guns. We now have two AT guns on the field, both shooting at the Tiger, so the Tiger needs to get the hell out of there. Still needs to get repairs. Probably going to have to retreat all the way back to base or risk getting killed. The guards could vault over this fence. You just click on that, vault over the fence, and get in there. But the pilots just jump into the house to be able to see the area. They see that the guards are right there, and the MG-42 is probably going to jump in there to defend. MG-42 sets up in an angle, the guards move out, and they are going to get shot by the Tiger. The Tiger turns to the servant, misses the shot, however, the Pyos are repairing, and Nate goes off on the Panther Grenadiers as they approach, and we now have the AT gun right in front of the MG-42. So Camp French are going a little bit too forward, is now down to 54 points, but manages to go for the decap on all of the points, and we'll stop putting... Sorry, and we'll start putting the bleed back on Sage of the Six. So, Sage of the Six is very close to victory, but he needs to reconsolidate, repair that tank, get that engine back in full order, and, you know, crush at least one flank. We see Penal Battalion, a little bit merch there. We see three and three, so a little bit of a replacement troops there. Going up in the north by itself, just capturing territory. We see a 
artillery strike right on top of the penal battalion, but they managed to dodge that, and they are fine. And down south, combat engineers just being used to cap, conscripts capturing, we have more conscripts capturing, so yeah, I mean... Right now, Camp French is utilizing this time to regain control of the map. He has a lot of veterans here on his troops. Look at that. I mean, that is two veterans, three squads, one of them being a combat in here. Uh, and he has two veterans, two conscripts with a veteran, two guard squad next to them. So, yeah, it's pretty nice. So, the Tiger getting some repairs, going very slowly, taking some shots at the approaching infantry. MG42 just there for s defense. Um, this is a uh, mortar getting produced for Camp Frenchy, so just spending his band power in what he sees fit. He has, in fact, not gone for any amount of uh, tech. He does have 250 fuel already, has enough to get a uh, tank, whatever you call it. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, the, the pair of T 3485s. However, he does not have enough manpower, and I don't think he actually has enough population anymore he has 83 population at this point and the tanks cost 24 so yeah he actually can't afford this unless he loses something because he has a lot of infantry three conscripts one guards one penal two combat engineers an mg42 that got stolen a heavy mortar and two at guns so quite a bit of infantry there and well to be fair i mean he's really only going up against a tiger at this point so he can in a way afford to not get the tanks, I mean, the tanks are pretty good to finish off a Tiger, you know, you could, they could have chased them down right here and get behind, even one going for a Ram and such, but um, on a one-on-one -on -one fight, essentially, they're not going to be able to win against the Tiger, so if you can damage the Tiger on an approach like that, damage the engine, like for example, if the Tiger right here, when it was pushing, got damaged, the AT guns start shooting and the T-3485s roll in to try to get behind it and such, yeah, that's great, but, you know, on a head-on fight, they're probably going to lose against the Tiger. The MG-42 a little bit forward, catches a conscript squad as it approaches, but takes a nasty shot there by the Soviet mortar, down to one man, going to be cleared out, I do not think it's even going to try to retreat. There it goes, down goes the MG-42, another shot lands right next to it, so it would have gone down, however, a conscript squad does end up getting annihilated, which is not entirely bad, I mean, it is sad that the veterancy is lost, however, Cam Frenchy could, at this point, just save up and get himself that Colin because at this point he can actually afford it, uh, population-wise that is, he doesn't have the manpower for it, but he would be at 94 population if he gets that, so. Another conscript squad getting annihilated down to one man, the Tiger is now a formidable beast, does not have a damage engine, and actually takes out another conscript squad, so heavy losses there for Camp Frenchy, but I suppose in this situation it is rather good for him that this is happening. We'll allow him to get some armor on the field if that is in fact his intent. So PTRS rifles from the guards are shooting at the Tiger, trying to do something. The AT gun's shooting from far away, not actually nailing the Tiger. And the Grandier's just sitting in the center, moving around, trying to dodge those mortar shots and taking PTRS shots to the face. Down south, Pio's just sneaking around, going for the uh, for the caps. And we have 54 points still left for Camprenci and 334 points for Sage of the Six. And Sage of the Six is actually going to be double capping Camp Frenchy once again, so that means the points are going to start bleeding once again. He is now down to 51, so Camp Frenchy needs to get up of his ass and get up in there. Otherwise, he's going to lose from points. A mere 50 points remain. So, Penal Battalion up north, uh, essentially just a conscript squad with a flamethrower. Running around next to Grenz. The Grenz for Sage of the Six are going for the points, so he's actually going to get a triple cap if he's not stopped. Uh, the Penal Battalion down here is just capping Panzer Grenadiers on the field. Now Veteran C2, which gives them increased survivability and reduced rate of fire. I mean, not reduced, I mean, reduced cooldown to increase the rate of fire. Is what I'm to say. Oh, nasty shot there by the Tigers. The Guard Rifles end up taking a, a shot down to one man and are forced to retreat. They do end up dropping a DP Light Machine Gun, which a Grand Squad picks up. Unfortunately for Sage, that is a vanilla Grand Squad, which means that it does not have as much firepower as you would expect. The combat engineers jump into the center, gonna try to stop that bleed. They're going with their flamethrower up against the Grenadiers. The Grenadiers taking shots from the MG-42 that got stolen, that is currently in the church. Down to two men, gotta force that retreat, and the T-3485 Colin is now used for Camp Frenchy. So he now has tanks on the field. Combat engineers are gonna try to go for the cap. But he is triple capped, down to 18 points. Camp Frenchy is running out of time. He does go for the cap in the south. He's going for the cap in the center. 
down to 12. Can he actually do it? There is a point up north. Nobody's actually going for that. The penal battalion is going for that. Down to nine points. He's currently getting triple cap. Down to six. He does manage to decap that. He still has one point. Needs to cap that. Down to five. Oh my god, is he going to make it? I think he's going to make it. Uh, four. Oh, is, oh no. I think this is going to be it. Three. Oh my god. So close. I think the southern one is a little bit faster. Two. One. Oh, wow. So Camp Frenchy manages to save it at the last second, but that is just one point. Yeesh. And, well, Sage of the Six is sitting at 329 points, so he really has all the time in the world, considering that he only has one point he needs to take off. But, wow. Well, Camp Frenchy manages to hang in there and is going to stay in the fight for a little while. Tiger back at the bay is going to get some repairs going. The T-3045 is pushing into the center to try to get that point. Northern point once again captured for Camp Frenchy. So he's actually getting the triple cap in Sage of the Six. So he doesn't have a lot of time. He still has some time, but it's actually going to go quite fast if he doesn't cap that. Uh, and yeah, so conscripts in the north just capturing. We have two Grand Squads, two Panzer Grenadiers. The half track that gets called in with the Panzer Grenadiers moving down south, getting engaged by the T 3045s. Off one, uh, eh. off goes one shot. They jump out of the half track because they know it's gonna die. T 3045s continues to move forward. Grand taking a nasty shot by the T 3045s. I believe they might have actually thrown a Faust at that T 34. And the Tiger is now just crushing the hedge, going straight at those T 3045s. Takes a shot to the rear, I mean, to the side armor. This T-3045 is essentially disabled right now. T-35 going for the flank, but we do have Mark Vehicle going down on the Tiger. Can the T-3045 actually finish it off? Unfortunately for Sage of the Six, he's turning his hull, which means that the turret is not able to keep up with the speed and is not able to target the T-3045s. He's now targeting the damaged one, which he should not be doing. He should be targeting the other one. He's now flanked. I think Sage of the Six is actually going to lose his Tiger right here. Can he get a kill on one of the T-3045s at least? He's down to a sliver of health. One more shot goes off on the T-3045. That Tiger's gonna go down. Yeah, there goes the Tiger. So Sage of the Six making a horrible mistake right there. The uh, the turning of the, t of the hull was actually a, a, a bad choice for him because it didn't allow his gun to reacquire the target. So he might have been able to kill at least one of these tanks, but, well, Lucky break there for Camprenci. He manages to kill that Tiger. Sage of the Six does not have enough fuel to get one just yet. He'll probably get another one soon, though. But again, he is down to 236 points. So while he has time, he doesn't have all the time in the world. Grand Squads, however, are going up to the north. They should be able to capture that point and slow the ticking down to one point per tick, giving him additional time. And all he needs to do is just capture one. Grandier Squad moving down south. The T-3045 is just there to intercept. There is a mine there on the way. A Faust uh, looked like it was going to go off, but it looked like it also just got canceled. So, oh, Grand Squad gets annihilated there. There is a dropped. What is that? The LMG gets dropped down south. And Sage of the Six got a little bit too greedy. Point up north does get decapped, slowing down the ticking to two points, and he's going to be able to cap it very soon. He goes to try to get the cap in the center, but there is that MG42 in the center, plus a Grandier. I mean, a combat engine. Ah! A guard squad in the center that stopped the actual decap. Nate goes off on the squad, finishes it off, and uh, Camp Frenchy is going to hold MG42, saying hello, point blank range to a T-34, and they decide to retreat. And the T-34-85 down south is now going to get some repairs going off on it by that veteran C or veteran uh, combat engineers. The other one actually has a veteran C2, which also increases the uh, the rate of repair. So we're actually going to see that. I don't think there's any engagements going on. So that is actually going pretty fast. Look at that bar go up down there. That is that's fast. That is quite fast, actually. So yeah, that T-34-85 T3045 is going to be back in full working order in a couple seconds. And the one up north is probably going to be next on the repair list. Engine damage going off on the northern T-34, probably from a Faust, and that T-34 is now back in full order. So that was very fast. So up north, yeah, took a Faust to the face, going to hold the line and try to force off those Grenadiers. Grenadiers do manage to cap that fuel. And we have a Pyro Squad trying to sneak down to the south, but there is a lot of things down there, including a T-3045, so I don't think those Pyros are even going to live. 
Shot goes off, down goes another one of those piles. He is going for the decap. Can he actually get it? I would suggest he tries to dance around at least. No, the pile is down to one man. He's try gonna try to get the decap. Shot goes off, misses. Combat engineers will win and execute him. So yeah, a little bit too greedy there by Sage of the Six. He got a little bit tunnel vision there because of the points. And yeah, you shouldn't do that. I mean, he's getting his tiger right now. If he had all those troops that he lost, you know, the co the Grenadiers had lost his LMG, that Pio squad, and I don't know if the Grands up north died or retreated, but I mean, if he had all those things, he has a decent shot. But right now, he's actually throwing it away by doing that. So we now only have an MG42 and a Grand Squatch, plus a Tiger. They're going down south. Combat Engineers running into that Tiger. T3045 is around. They're going to try to run away from that Tiger. The Tiger is in pursuit. And the other T3045 is up in the north with a damaged dungeon, so it will not be able to get in there for support very quickly. So the T3045 moves further down south to try to get out of sight range from that Tiger to give him a fighting chance. Penal Battalion pushing forward. The Grens do manage to uh, execute the Combat Engineer squad, so the Veteran C3 squad actually goes down. Lucky there for uh, Sage of the Six. Gets rid of one. The Penal Battalion down to two men. Can he finish it off? A ram going off from T3045. Hits the rear armor of the Tiger, but does not manage to get the critical. Only manages to get a crew shock, and the Tiger is still alive. The T3045 is in pretty bad shape. The Tiger decides to focus on the T3045. I do not think that is the right choice. I think he should be focusing on the AT gun. Second D3045 moving down south. There it goes. The Tiger focuses on the AT gun, gets his circle strafe going, and decrews it. The AT gun should probably get killed off, although the T3045 is a more high value target, I suppose. Takes shots to the side armor. The T3045 moves down through the center and is going to help out its friend. However, I believe this T3045 down south is going to get killed. The gunner on top does get killed by a stray shot from the T3485, and this one is down to a sliver of health. What gets dropped here? A flamethrower. The flamethrower could go off. Down goes one of the T3045. The Tiger is still on the field. However, it's down to about 25% health. Can this T3045 actually finish it off? Takes a nice penetrating shot to the frontal armor. The guards rifles are there. AT gun moves down south as well, and the Tiger, I believe, is going to fall. I don't think that Sage of the Six is going to be able to salvage this, and no. Down goes the Tiger, T-3485 still on the field and only one Grand Squad and an MG-42 left on the field. Goes to cap the center point, will be able to capture the center point. How? Well, actually it takes a nasty shot there by the Mortar, but yeah, I think he'll be able to capture that. And slow down the ticking, Sage of the Six now down to 91 points, so less than 100 left for him. But I don't think that's going to be enough. Flamethrower on the field. Dropped there and not picked up by anybody. The uh, T-3045 actually be, uh, being used to cap this point, just uses its uh, combat mode ability, or, well, uh, capping mode, I believe it's called. Uh, well, not capping, it's secure mode. There you go, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, to capture that point, making it so he can't do that, and we have a Panzer Grenadier squad sneaking around behind enemy lines, uh, going for the point. Can he actually do it? Center point is getting decapped, however. No, I think it's a little bit too late there. Grenadiers are pushing into the center. They actually... You have to run him here. Just run him in there. And if you can stop this and the guys on the north... No. Uh, uh, well. That is the problem uh, sometimes. Uh, he got too greedy early on with uh, going for the victory points. And right there, I actually think he should have gone for the victory point head on. And try to stop it because this squad was going to decap and cap the point up north. It was only one point that he needed. Might have been exactly what he needed at that point. So Stug on the field, going to try to push off those conscripts. The conscripts run forward, throw an 18-8, Stug now disabled. And we have a T-3045 on the field, fully repaired, which is good. just going to run up to it and kill it. So A little bit of a wasted effort. Actually, the T-3045 will not even be able to get a shot in. The AT guns move, uh, turn around, and refocus. The Grants are moving on to the point, going to try to cap it themselves. But there is a guard squad right on top of them. T-3045 also moving into the point. And down to 58 points for Sage of the Six. Northern Point also taking the nasty. Oh! As a satchel charge that went down, the Panzer Grenadiers inside actually get killed, which makes it so that they cannot capture the point. And the, uh, the Grants end up retreating as well. Less than 50 points left for Sage of the Six. We see that he has nothing left on the field. The half rack up north just crawling out of its way, trying to stay alive. But. Sage decides to throw in the towel, 
at that point, not much else that he can do. So yeah, quite unfortunate there for Sega 6. It does show that players do get tunnel vision sometimes, which is, well, never good. I mean, sometimes it gets you a win, uh, but most of the time it just ends up getting you killed. And there you go, that's a shot. <laughs> So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the game. If you have any positive or negative remarks, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. If you have any replays you want to send me, go ahead and send them to the email that I will put in the description. But otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.